Have you ever noticed that when you're having like the worst day ever, you feel like the only one having a bad day? You, you look around and everybody seems to be having a great day. Uh, their, their food is perfect. Their schedule just all seems to click. Everything seems to be going their way, but not your way. Everything is kind of seems like it's lined against you. The universe is raging and, and, and you're just like, man, uh, I'm done. I mean, we've been talking about that all week. Like, what do we do? Do we give up as we face um, the struggles in our lives? When, when we try to share our faith, we try to be loving, we try to be caring, and people run us over, right? And people hurt us. And people uh, might even say, look, I don't want anything to do with you or, or Jesus or any of that. Uh, there's going to be a temptation to say, man, it's just not worth it. But, but here's another great passage uh, from, a, from a really a great whole chapter. Romans 8. I, I highly recommend reading that whole thing. It's just so incredible. I know someone that reads this every single day. Just phenomenal. Uh, better than any vitamin or any uh, booster shot you can take right here. Uh, Romans 8, especially verse 18, he says, Paul says, I consider that the sufferings of this present time, and he had a lot of them. He says, they're not even worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed in or to us. Like God's got this amazing thing to show us. Like to me, Jesus dying for me is, it's, it's mind blowing that God would love me that much, that he would love you that much. And he knows who we are. He knows the thoughts that we have. He knows our past and yet he loves us and yet he died for us. And, and that wasn't the, and if we thought that was amazing, like he came to life and, and now gives us life, that glory of Easter. And, and if that, I mean, to me, that's mind blowing. And then he's like, well, wait a second, you ain't seen nothing yet. When it comes to eternity, when he comes again, and I think it's it's pretty awesome. Look at what he says. He goes, the the stuff I'm going through, his his being jailed, his he was beaten within an inch of his life, mocked and and attacked. I mean, could you imagine every word out of his mouth? Somebody's there to to question him or to challenge him. It sounds like Twitter, right? It sounds like uh, Instagram or Facebook. You, you, get, you put something out there, and everybody just jumps on you, and you're like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? He's like, he's like, that stuff, as bad as it is, and he's not trying to minimize it at all. He's saying, look, but that is, I, he's like, I can't even compare that with the glory to come, with the glory that God is going to be revealing to us is so incredibly amazing. Imagine that. We're, we're going to be in a place without any crying, without any tears, without any pain, with no suffering, no disease, no death, none of it. He's going to bring us into that. We will see him in all of his to total glory. Because right now we're, we're, we're only seeing things through, as scripture says, through a glass dimly. Uh, but, 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 and, we, and we're kind of only catching a glimpse here and there. But, but we will see him face to face. What a beautiful thing. Keep that in your heart. Keep that in your mind today as you go through what you're going through. Um, I, I hope we can encourage each other. I hope we can strengthen each other and lift each other up in this uh, battle that we're in, that we might know that we're not alone, that God loves us, and that He has the, like the best is yet to come. All right? We'll talk to you next time. Hit the subscribe button. Share this with somebody. I'm Pastor Fred. This is The Follow Faith.